Hi guys, Better Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action. And today we are playing the Atlantic Fleet. We are still continuing our Royal Navy campaign. Battle number 38. Uh, just off the northwestern Spanish corner coast. Maybe a little bit of Portugal in there. Anyways, Bismarck and Turpitz, plus I think a super sub not sure but we're gonna take the uh, the lion the Rodney and the Timberaire let's see no I guess the Jervis we do at least get the initiative So flank speed. Yeah, it should be fine. That is kind of a, f a ways out. Let's. Super sub. Quick little bugger, too. That's actually kind of close. Uh, maybe six degrees. Let's try six degrees, and there is basically no wind correction to worry about. That wasn't far. Stop doing that. I'm just trying to get back to the screen. So let's try 5-5. Five, five. Not far, but I'm also not really doing anything. Yeah, you stay targeted on that. I'm not going to do anything to you right now. But I do have a rocket bomber airstrike. Could I try that? I'm going to try this. Although, I think it'll be very, very difficult. It's a pinpoint. But, let's try it. him, but I'm not sure. No, oh, they have land-based aircraft as well. Not going to get shot down either. Two torpedoes. 
Williams. a good chance I'm gonna lose this guy and by that guy I mean Tim Rear. and the destroyer has gone away Three, sure, why not? Maybe just a hair on the wind correction. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea. See hard to port. This one's going to hit here. This one is going to hit here. <laughs> and this one is going to hit here. I'm probably going to lose a turret, if not the entire ship, due to magazine detonation. And thus, the power of aircraft. That was a really good hit. Like, super fantastic. Oh, so we do still have the sonar contact. Ah. Alright. I cannot reliably hit this thing right now, so I won't. Well, I didn't lose a turret. Or the ship yet. But on the plus side, it looks like they're out of Condor Bomber. Wait, was that a Condor? No, that was the Dornier. So do we still have... we do. Alright, this is where we take out the damned submarine. Alright, 
So this was six degrees. We are a lot closer. I'm going to say four degrees. And switch to high explosive. And that's how you sink a super sub with a battleship. Class dismissed. But I've still got a lot to dodge. Piccolo would be proud. Eleven point eight knots. Alright, A turret is jammed. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Like a good look at where those torpedoes are. I don't think fourteen eight. targeting systems. Well, that's two torpedoes on the Lion. Twelve seven, really? When the first I don't think twelve seven, but definitely not sixteen three. Let's try fourteen. Yeah, I'd say 14 was a lot better than 12-3. Nope, one more torpedo. Ah. Let's try 15-0. No, 15-1. forward. All three turrets got off, by the way. That's a good thing. Oof. 
I saw those holes open up. That is four torpedoes. Very nervous. One of those was a submarine torpedo. Interprets is smoking. Thirteen three, I don't think so. Well, it looks like I need to come up slightly. Yeah, 14-2. Good hits. I'm... I'm not really seeing anything wrong on this list. Okay. But should I smoke just this turn? No. No, it is the Germans who are wrong. in elevation. Maybe I should have raised a tenth of a degree. Alright, so am I beelining for the Germans in a destroyer? I guess I am. Okay, so they are both smoking. slightly. So I do need to ra increase my elevation. Two tenths? No, three tenths. Good hits. And the tumor air is uh, up to 17.1 knots. So, not as bad as I had originally thought. I need to come up slightly. Uh, still kind of short. I'm not sure if the destroyer will be able to do anything. Of course, he was able to spot the submarine, so that's a plus. And then my battleship firing AP guns took it right the fuck out. Wait, HE. High explosive. So a point three increase seems to be just short, so... Try point four. I don't see why not. 
Although the Bismarck did turn a bit more. Alright, 0.5. Did. That was mostly near misses. Turbots doesn't appear to be going very fast, and I'm also going to use no change in elevation. What was that last turn fired at? 15-2. up short. Did I put the Jervis on flank speed? I don't remember. Well, Turpence is not long for this world. And I lost a turret. Well, okay. Definitely need to come up. Let's try point seven degrees. Yeah, we'll just leave it center mass. And I think I took out a turret on the Bismarck. Sixteen two? I'm not sure about that. Ugh. That was that was ugly. Okay, who are you aiming at? Because I have not figured it out. Always behind. What did it? Might have damaged the rudder. That would be nice. You are not getting away as fast as the Bismarck is. Try no change and see what happens. Which was fifteen four. More hits. Yes, Jervis is on flank speed. thousand yards and it's still a hell of an elevation for the main battery guns yep that is a destroyed turret on the Bismarck it's not the right ship to have a turret destroyed 
not the right ship at all. turn fired at 16.7. No, I'm going to go 17.6. That seemed to be a decent shot. Not 14.4, thank you. Actually, you need to come down on that 15 4. 15 2, maybe? Yeah, I'd say that was a good hit. And the Jervis. I think the proximity of Jervis to the Bismarck is keeping the Bismarck from disengaging. this time. Mmm, too much. Must really be going slow. Alright, so 11.1 .1 knots is the flank speed for the timber air. Not awesome, but probably a lot faster than the Tirpitz is going at zero knots. Also, as indicated by the hit chart, past three shots haven't moved not even a half ship's length. shots until she blows. And even at 35.9 knots, it's taking forever to catch up to the Bismarck. Okay, definitely aiming at the Timurair. going 24 point did the torpedo cause that much damage yeah that was way too much and since I am closing I need to come way down Let's try 17.9, because suddenly I'm not too sure of anything. I'd say those were good. Completely nose on profile to eliminate the chances of hits due to dispersion. I don't 
Really? Yeah. Yeah, probably 14-6. Probably not. Turpitz finally, finally goes down. And then there was one, the Bismarck. Seventeen nine. I'm gonna go with seventeen nine again. stretch. Longer than 14.7. Let's try 16.7 just to give ourselves a good baseline. Wasn't a bad guess. interested in the destroyer bearing down on him. I think that may end up being a mistake. 2.6 knots. Okay. change again. No, I'm going to come up. Ooh, that looks good. Look to be half of the ordnance hitting the Bismarck. Not gonna be 18-8. Last shot was 16-7, and that went far. Sixteen. Yeah. Two hits and a near miss. Poor Jervis, not doing a damn thing. Like I say, except for spotting that destroy, uh, submarine. So I'm going to stick with no change. in the middle amongst all of the basically command and control systems. So 
These are nice, nice looking models, by the way. Anyways, I've got a Bismarck to sink. It's taking long enough. So I think I'm going to try minus, yep, minus point 0.1. And that range is starting to get out there. Three good hits. Ten thousand yards. Uh, why is there an alarm set for this? Huh. That was weird. Um, oh yeah, Jervis doesn't really need to do anything. Still travel, uh, moving forward. Still missing every single shot launched, launched, fired at the Timeraire. Well, I certainly hope this is good experience for you. Eighteen one. Probably a little too far. Yeah, back down to eighteen. Wait, Bismarck just fired. Good. That took long enough. Um. So another 16 would put me there. So I'm not going to do that. 15.9 seems good. Within 10,000 yards. And Bismarck is now firing on the Jervis. So I guess the destroyer is now close enough to actually be a threat. You never let them get that close. Alright, yeah, so back down to 18. needs to end soon because I'm out of coffee. That was a really weird dispersion. side. Well, we are in torpedo range. Noted. Actually, it's not even a turret, really. It's more just a dual, double-barreled gun shield, I guess. All right, maybe. 
maybe I'll come down again. Try 15-5. I'm not sure this is gonna hit. Oof. Can't turn. Why? Oh, you can still fire right at that, huh? And the Jervis is sinking. Ah. Well, so much for getting torpedoes off on the Bismarck. Yeah, 15 8 is not going to get that. Am I really... I've been traveling in a straight line for like the past seven turns. How am I not getting just a, a pattern of elevation decrease? <sighs> it's odd. this. So coming down 0.3 degrees gave me that much back. And I'm not firing at 15.8, thank you. hits. Three of them. Knocked out a turret. Oh, come on. That didn't even hit the superstructure. I really need to start turning the lion. Maybe that's why. Yeah. It's almost like the Bismarck is reversing. Alright, let's just try 17 even. I think I should have been putting Temeraire on back emergency or, or whatever. Hmm. This one's really turning into a slugfest. to get a final shot off before slipping under. Well played, Bismarck. 
But yeah, we did. That was only medium damage on the timber rear. Damn. But yeah, we lost the Jervis. That sucks. I don't like losing ships because that means I gotta get another sometime. Not that, not. Maybe not ne this next time though. Speaking of the next time, battle number 39 is going to be middle of the Atlantic between the two, uh, horns, I guess, and it's going to be four heavy cruisers. That should take no time at all. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Thank you very much for watching this episode, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.